Hi, welcome to this webinar. So this webinar is a little bit different because actually um, you can tell from the background I'm in a different location. This is the first time we've publicly announced it, but um, we did actually come to a new facility in Norway. So the sound quality is a bit strange today because I'm using um, different microphones. The camera quality may be a different strip, bit different because I'm actually using um, webcams and um, as I say, these things are a little different, but that said, we're also about four days late on doing this vlog and podcast. My apologies for the um, four days late. We've just been super busy traveling, um, setting up new labs, meeting clients, etc. And um, we are carrying on with our special series of webinars, particularly for or specific to universities. So we do have some webinars for Imperial. We also have some um, universities, I'm uh, sorry, webinars um, booked also for some London universities, um, Bath, UWE, that's University of West of England, also Swansea. So if you've got a, if you're at university and you particularly want a ZP webinar, we can kind of tailor those webinars to be um, more useful or specific to um, your particular university. So do let us know if that's something that you would be um, interested in um, getting. Um, we've obviously been doing our, I say obviously, we have been doing our sort of standard um, webinars. Um, and what I mean by our standard webinars, we do our um, ZP Developer Zone every week. So um, 16th of June, we did do a webinar on um, answering technical questions that have come in during the week. Um, so we answered questions about wire sensors. Um, one of the clients has got a wire sensor out there. We did also answer a question from a, um, an undergrad, actually it's, it's a postgrad, um, who's making an immunosensor, they're using impedance spectroscopy. And they're having, um, they were using streptavidin, pre-coated streptavidin screen printed electrodes for doing this. And they were saying they got a, a problem with reproducibility. And I said, yeah, absolutely, you have got a problem with reproducibility. It starts with the screen printed electrodes. I am always have to put the disclaimer in that I'm super biased and that we have our own range of screen printed electrodes at Zimmer and Peacock. So I have to kind of, you know, recommend those. And also I've got a long term kind of conversation going um, with some guys in Asia who are um, making uh, biosensors, they're interested in custom screen printed electrodes. And I was able to kind of give them the, I think the ZP standard warnings about screen printed electrodes. Um, if you do custom screen printed electrodes, you are really opening up a, um, a can of, sort of troubles, can I say that? Um, because you're going to end up with high cost, low quality, um, and a quite a lot of disappointment. So I do warn people against custom screen printed electrodes, but I've got plenty of videos out there where I actually do sort of elaborate on why I put those warnings out there. Um, we did have our food sense webinar. So every month we do do a webinar specifically on food sense where we, we do these live demos and they're, you know, they're really satisfying because actually, you know, when we do food sense live demos, we'd live, testing what we call the ZP technology stack, sensors, electronics, connectivity, cloud calculations, um, data comes back to the app or back to the smart device. We store the data in the cloud. So it's a really good way of demonstrating our kind of full um, cloud capability. So we do do those monthly webinars and um, I think they're you know well received if I can say that way. And we also did our Sense It All live webinar. So Sense It All is a kind of if Sense It All was the definition of our total technology stack at Zimmer and Peacock, Food Sense is really an application of it into the food um, ingredients testing. But Sense It All is also what I call an OEM platform. And an OEM platform kind of means, well, kind of, it does mean original equipment manufacturing. And it means, you know, if you are an academic or a developer or a startup and you want to make biosensors and you want to get them onto the market, then the Sense It All platform is potentially one of your fastest ways of doing it. So we do, um, and we demonstrate that, you know, that that actually it can be used as a product because in fact, you know, it's um, food sense generation four is something that we are doing. This is probably the most fun thing that we've done. Um, I don't want to say in the long run, but it's something we fun we did. There's been this ridiculous controversy going on. I say ridiculous, or maybe, you know, but there's a controversy going on that um, there's this spicy noodles. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but Bulldak 3X. Um, they're chicken spicy noodles. When you read the ingredients, there's no chicken in there. It's just chicken flavoring. Um, but they're very hot. Um, or they've got a perception of being very hot. So at ZP, we have our food sense generation four. 
it does have the capability of measuring um, the Scoville heat unit of various products. And so I did um, take this um, Boldak 3X chicken flavored noodles, ramen noodles. Um, we did test the chicken soup in it. We measured this Scoville heat unit of it and it came out at about 5,000 Scoville heat units, which is actually no hotter than Tabasco sauce. Um, and then just at the last minute, I actually measured how much material, how much mass of sauce is in there, how much weight of sauce is in there. It was three, oh, sorry, it was 30 grams of sauce. So 30 grams of sauce is equivalent to half a bottle of Tabasco sauce. So I can now understand why people are sort of saying, oh, this is very hot. It's not because the sauce is really that hot. There are plenty of sauces and plenty of powders and plenty of spices and plenty of Alea resins that are hotter. But the fact is you're actually eating 30 grams of this spicy sauce per serving and that's what's actually causing the you know real perception of hotness um so we did um do a webinar um not webinar we did do a video on that and it has had quite a lot of um for zimmer and peacock most of what we do is quite um, geeky so we don't get that many views on youtube but we just do it we really run the youtube channels as a sort of public service to our colleagues who are in biosensor development. I suppose in that said, but at the same time, sometimes um, a video like testing the hotness of ramen noodles will get a lot more, let's say, views. Something I just want to mention is we do have our ZP Developers Zone webinar on the 23rd of June. Um, you may notice that these webinars are starting to move to the weekend. And I think this is, to be fair, a reflection of how busy we are during the week. So it's not meant to be um, anything spectacular but um things are getting super busy so we're actually having to do webinars these days um on sundays because um most people are, are resting and relaxing on a sunday so we actually then have the time to do these webinars so i'll finish it with that say um have a good day or evening or morning from um, myself in norway if you have any questions of course don't hesitate to reach out to us at zp and i want to say take care okay thanks very much